Good morning. Woke up like this. Hello, Squai. Hi, honey. Huh? So this boy woke up at what time? Huh? 4 a.m. this morning. Mm. Mm. Hungry na no. But mommy didn't feed you until mm. what time? Mm. 6.30 no. Mm. You want some privacy? Oh. Disturbed. Trying to see if Scott has a probable ear infection because he keeps scratching his ear. <laughs> Doctor Slater nope. is checking, but he doesn't see anything. And we're visiting the doctor anyways on Monday, so hopefully it will be nothing. We'll ask the doctor then, though. I don't know how he can check because he can't like. I want him to smell Scott's ear because it's kind of funky smelling, but he can't smell it because he's wearing a mask. So I don't know how they do it these days. Who knows? But it's probably nothing. Scotty. They're crying. Pop, <laughs> pop, pa, pa, not clap your hands. <laughs> Drama. So funny. Slater's trying to threaten him. See behind me. He doesn't understand what it means, and so he just claps his hand, thinking Slater wants to play with him. All right, guys, Scotty is fast asleep, which means this mama can finally get to work. Whew, I am in need of a shower, um, and I just finished editing a video that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And I think by the time you watch this video, I would have already posted it. It's so cute. Here, it's this one. He's so cute! He's a little baby Nemo! My gosh, my camera roll is filled with all things baby. Huh. Life of a mama, huh? I love having my bangs. I feel like it gives me a more youthful look 
overall but i feel like also sometimes it is such a hassle because this happens or when you saw earlier this morning it was all over the place and it does not make me feel sexy when i wake up at all um and so when i'm at home i also find that it irritates my eye a lot now this eye has been red as you can see for days now and like even our mga kasambahays at home are like telling me mom you need to get more sleep because it's so red and freaky and they get freaked out so for today since i don't have anything to do I'm just going to pin all of my bangs to the side. I tried to like set it with rollers um, yesterday and then Scott was just like all over my hair. Like he didn't understand what these rollers were. He finds them so itchy even though he's not touching them. He keeps scratching his ear. That's why I thought he had an ear infection because he kept scratching his ear even though like I was just making noise with a, with a, bot, with a hair roller. There you go. So much neater. I sometimes wonder why I even got bangs in the first place. Like I've had bangs so many times and they've always been very bothersome. So I don't know why I still got them. I think it's like a soya thing. Because <laughs> I'm spending so much time at home now and the only people I talk to are Slater, um, Scotty, and our Kasambahais and maybe my family and Slater's family. Um, and we all speak Bisaya. I feel like sometimes I've forgotten how to speak English or Tagalog or like whatever other languages because like I'm just so used to speaking Bisaya and even though I didn't used to think in Bisaya first, like English was always my first language, um, now I find some words I'm just so used to speaking in Bisaya, like Bisaya English because I did a Bisaya vlog. If you guys haven't seen that, then I will put a link up in the cards and down below so you guys can check it out. But a lot of you during the live chat said that, oh my God, Chris, you're so conyo. Kanyo Bisaya. And in my head, really? I really think I'm not like defensive ako because I grew up here and I spoke Bisaya like in college, in high school and in grade school. So I find it very weird that people think I'm Kanyo. Maybe because I was conscious in that video. But it doesn't matter. Um, I am who I am. I'm just gonna put some lip tint because um, on camera, I feel like I look really, really pale for some weird reason. And also, my camera has this thing where it like instantly blurs everything. So. Sometimes I feel like it blurs my features, you know what I mean? And then I have to add so I don't look like I'm a dead ghost. I always end with a lip balm, no matter what lipstick I'm using, just so that my lips don't dry out. Put on a bit of eyeliner just because I'm filming today, so I want to look a little bit more glammed up than usual. And these days I do find that I'm wearing makeup a lot more even though I'm just at home. I have this new palette from Teviant. I'm gonna put a link down below to a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be talking about today, including this one. Um, if I can find it, I'm pretty sure I can. And this is really cool because it comes in all of these glitter shades. I think um, you call them toppers. So this is cool because it's kind of like a local version of that Pat McGrath palette that I always talk about and I really, really love. You can see all of the colors here are so sparkly. And I'm trying to go for that, you know that Korean look where they have this very soft winged eye, which I already have right now, and then everything that they put on top is just glitter. I've never like been able to really achieve that. Let's try if I can do it with Heirloom, a very glittery, like I don't even know if it has color, if it's just a plain glitter color. Let me just try it out. Whoa! Look at that. That's crazy. I want to do a different color on the other eye, but then I just look really weird. So maybe tomorrow I'll do the other colors. But today, my gosh, I can't get over how pretty this is. Wow. Whoa, guys. I mean, pigment. Wow. I'm so amazed. This is so darn adorable. I love it. All right guys, now that we've had some fun mama time to play with all of those colors, I'm gonna go get to work. It is already 9.45 in the morning, which means Scotty will be up in about 15, 30 minutes. Um, and then later on, we're gonna install some of these. These are like all of the stuff that I got to baby proof his room. I'm gonna call Slater later and hopefully he won't be too busy and he can help me install them. I'm just gonna drink a bit of water before I start my day. Ooh. Mm. <sighs> water tastes so good. If you guys are watching this and 
you are thirsty or even if you're not thirsty go ahead and grab a cup of water or a glass of water because i feel like everybody these days is definitely dehydrated so hydration is key all right we are gonna go to the office now so many emails i need to catch up on <laughs> to stop working is here. Scott is awake. You can hear him shouting. Oh, it's so cute. I love this new ball pit that we got him. Um, he's not so sure yet if he likes it, right, baby? Yeah, he's not so sure yet. If I put him inside, he kind of freaks out because he can't stand straight on it. But we love it because he can practice walking on it. He'll hold it like by one hand and start walking around. And sometimes he even lets go of this and like starts walking three or four steps. And he can balance, so it's great practice for him, which is why I really love it. Wait, honey, wait, wait. He's gonna attempt. Sometimes he falls, so I need to be here to catch him when he does that. Mommy, go with Chai! Mommy, go with Chai! Mommy, go with Chai! You like it, honey? You like it? Wow! All right, Scotty's taking a little number two moment, so let's give him some privacy. Love? Yeah? You busy? Yo, why? Can you help me baby-proof Scott's room? Okay, um, if you give me like five minutes, uh, I'll just do something. How about long in his room? Okay. Okay, let's get all the stuff that I got. I got this all from Bonjour Baby World, which is where I'm like their most, I'm like their super suke. Cause I bought like probably all of the things on their um, website or all the things they carry, I have. Um, I love it, I love all their stuff. See, we have so much. I'm gonna put a link down below. I think you can find them on Lazada or Shopee. Um, yeah, but it's super convenient to shop. I even bought like so many gifts for all of my um, godchildren there. And it's super nice and convenient and they all like it. So that's a shop I highly recommend, Bonjour Baby World. Oh, and speaking of, this is not sponsored by them, but this ball pit is also, also I got it from them. And also this whole like mat situation, I've extended it if you guys notice. I'm gonna stand here so when Scotty walks out, you don't see his butt. But look at that. It's so, like this whole room is now filled with this play mat, which I think is so cute. This is actually two sets worth and it's super duper sulit and I like it because now when Scott's crawling around, which he usually does, there's so much space for him to crawl that I won't freak out because um, before he would crawl like to the floor and then he'd smash his head on the floor. Now if he falls down, he's on the mat and it's A-OK. -okay. All right, so while Scotty is changing, I'm going to show you all of these things that we got for baby proofing his room. We have this super dense edge guard. I just bought like random stuff because I don't know the first thing about baby proofing, but I think Slater and I agreed that we would baby proof his room first and see um, where we go from there. So I have a bunch of white ones, cream ones, and wood ones. I'm thinking we're gonna place it all here, like in the corners of that cabinet there, which is why we have some brown, we have some white. Um, we're also gonna place some in this shelf over here. And then we also have some cornered cushion guards. So these are for all the corners like these. 
um, just in case he's gonna bump his head there too. So hopefully this is enough. We didn't buy anything for outlets. I saw that a lot on other vlogs. Like they bought outlet covers because as of right now, we don't have any outlets that Scott can reach. So it's a good thing that I don't really need that. The only outlet that he can reach is here inside this little shelf. But I've covered it with a basket and then I covered it with this chair. So he won't accidentally like bump his head in that area or pull on the wire because he used to do that. He used to get the wire from this electric fan, pull it and even like eat the wire. So we've covered that up here with this little Yoda stuffed toy. This area, I'm planning to kind of rearrange it so that he can easily grab whatever toys he wants from the shelf, which he can already do as of now. But I'm planning to kind of maybe put one toy here, Montessori style and switch it up every week or so. So uh, hopefully he will like it that way. Yes, love, are you done? Are you done? You wanna join me? You wanna join me, honey? Say hi to everyone. Hi. You see your drum? This is your little Jimbury drum. You like it? No? What about your little munchkin toy? You haven't played with this in a while. Huh? Let's turn on. Okay. This boy is such a clingy baby. I call him Koala because he, look at that. He just wants to be hugging me all day. Which I won't lie, I actually really like. Okay, let's turn that off because it's a bit noisy. How about Gwen? You want to play with Gwen? A lot of the things that Scotty um, likes to play with now are things that he can actually eat. So this is what we do, actually. Let me show you. We eco-mom everything. So these are all of his stuffed toys. We put it on rotation just so that we know everything is sanitized. Although it can't get dirty because it's just in the room and we never leave. So. Um, yeah, but since he puts everything in his mouth, we make sure it's sanitized. I'm just waiting for Slater to come here and then we can start baby proofing. Goodbye. I bought a lot. Corner cushions. Why different white. colors? Because we have some that are like wooden, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have some that are white. Okay. And then we have these. They're like edge guards. You can put them around. But I think we should use them sparingly because it's gonna ruin like the shelves, no? Yeah. 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 You didn't shelf. It's quiet. It's quiet. This is Kwai's favorite hiding place here. Cause she knows she's not allowed to step here so that we um, don't have to sanitize it so much. She steps on it sometimes, but she knows she's not supposed to. So it's good because Scotty sometimes licks this. So we clean it every single day. And Sky is such a good girl. She just hides here or hides under the crib or stays in this whole area here. Um, and sometimes we play with her here when Scotty's reading his books. He loves to read books. And so we are going to fix up his room even more now, hopefully. It's gonna look a lot better. It takes so long to peel it off. <laughs> you, you, you. Me, me, me. I'm getting me. impatient. How do I peel this thing? It's so sticky. This video is husband and wife contest. Who can peel faster? Uh, <laughs> I Feelings. peel it. <laughs> but the it. Oh yeah, I can't do it. I don't have nails. I ran out of battery, so I'm using my iPhone now. This is Scotty Cam. We are cooking Scott's lunch there, which is why I'm super sweaty. Um, we're using the Instant Pot. I'll put a link down below, right, Scott? Scott loves the Instant Pot because mommy, who can't cook, can now cook yummy soups, right? And Scotty loves soups. We have some chicken. We have some carrots, sayata, chicken breast, cabbage, celery. We're gonna cook all of that. But in the meantime, Scotty, what are we gonna do, my love? We are going to see what daddy's up to. Look at my beautiful makeup, Scott. <laughs> Scott's like, what is she talking about? This mommy is so noisy. So daddy's here 
installing. Wow, good job, Daddy. Wow, Scott, they're not gonna bang Daddy Scott. So we have like these foam things attached to a sofa, but obviously, like they didn't do such a good job because <laughs> it's all over the place. We're gonna fix that once like this whole pandemic is over. Okay, Scotty, I'm gonna need you to stand up a bit here. Okay. Can you stand there? You don't like? You don't like to stand? You don't like? You like to walk to mom? You like to walk to mommy? Come. Come. Oi, 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 oi. Oh my god, it's not a foam. Ah, I see he already likes what I've done. Yay. Can you get it? Why? Get it yourself, babe. Get it. Are you scared? Well, mommy put it in too far. Here. There, you can play with it now. Wow! Oh, where did it go? Huh? What happened? Go get it! Go get it! Is it there? Good job! Oh no! Mommy's help. You can't reach it. You want to try? Ooh. Oh, you're angry now. Mommy will help you, okay? Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Mama. Where is it, love? Where is it? It went inside again? Huh? It went inside again? Where? You got it. Good job. Okay, this is something he loves to do, which is why I like this new mat because this is the only thing you can kind of take out. Ay, 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 Scotty. I've changed it from saute to soup and broth. I've closed this up so it's cooking in here. These have already been pre-steamed. So I'm just gonna dunk this in all once this is done. And that's Scotty's lunch. Are you excited to eat, love? Are you excited to eat? <coughs> it's still so hot. Mmm. Mmm. Babog na sa na to, ha? Okay. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. We are done having lunch and we're gonna go for a swim but before that I just want to give you a quick tour of what we've done in the room so far so yes there's a little ball pit here and we have the mat as I mentioned earlier and these are what I was talking about we changed them up into like a Montessori style so he can quickly grab his toys and so he won't bump his head we've installed these little bumpers 
here so he can quickly like crawl, grab it, and if he hits his head, it's no big deal. Um, and this corner, we have another toy that I put inside this gray basket over here. Um, and I taped up the wire from the fan so he doesn't pull on it. But just in case, I'm also going to cover this edge here with this chair. We were gonna put like a baby proofing thing there, but Slater said that it's gonna be hard to open the cabinet if we put that like foam thing on the side. So we're just gonna put this here. In the meantime, we have all his stuffed toys here that he likes to play with. Baby Yoda is here also, which is kind of an eyesore, but it's okay because Scott loves Yoda. And yes, love. We have all of his other toys that I used to put under the shelves up here. So these shelves aren't display shelves anymore. They're kind of like really used for storage now, but that's okay. Um, it's a good thing that I got all of these like gray Ikea boxes so I can store everything and it doesn't look messy. Again, if you guys are interested to use any of these things in Scott's baby room, I will try my best to find links to all of them and put them in the description box down below so you guys can check them out too. What else am I gonna show you? Show you hubs right here eating his banana <laughs> and we're gonna go for a swim. So I've prepared Scotty's little swim trunks. These are so cute. They're from a brand called Baby Bands and we got a ton of them, but Scotty, I feel like is too big for this already. Although this is supposed to be for ages 18 months, 12 to 18 months, but this looks pretty small for Scott. So um, hopefully he will fit in it. If not, I have these spare baby shorts. And he's just getting changed now. Um, he's gonna get showered before we swim because he's he smells a lot like chicken. <laughs> and I'm gonna change too. Slater, what are you doing, love? I'm eating. I just finished eating my banana. Okay, I'm what? gonna change. You wanna swim with us, or you're busy? You're busy, right? Uh, I can swim with you right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna change right now.